Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. class. Good morning, Ma'am Karen. Good morning, Sir Dong. Um, May anong mga, agenda natin ngayon? May mga agenda tayo ngayon. Tatlong points para sa mga pag-uusapan ngayong araw. Una is about the introduction of NSPP law. Pangalawa, yung mga reminders natin related sa SSO. At pangatlo, how to turn in your answers uh, in Google Classroom. So, I think we can start with the introduction of NSTP law, Sir Dong. Ah, okay. So, NSTP law. Bibigyan natin ng background para <coughs> bago sila mag-start ng kanilang readings, at least meron silang mapupulot na background, no? Or idea kung saan nagsimula yung ating NSTP. So, yung ating National Service Training program actually it started with the passage of the commonwealth act number no. 1 or yung tinatawag na national defense act so it is an act to provide the national defense of the philippines penalizing certain violations thereof uh, appropriating funds therefore and for other purposes so yun yung uh, national defense act so under the government of president uh, manuel Quezon. So, ibig sabihin, matagal na yung basis nitong ating National uh, Service Training Program. So, yung Commonwealth Act number one, it requires college students, specifically males. So, yun yung requirement. So, hindi doon sa mga kababaihan. No? So, Finish two years or four semesters of military training to be served cadets or reserve cadets. So, yun yung mga requirement noon no, for the national defense uh, of the country. And then, <clears throat> noong August 8, 1980, no, the Commonwealth Act number no. 1 was amended to give existence to Presidential Decree Number no. 1706. No, or national service law. Uh, it mandates compulsory national service to all citizens of the country. No? Composed of three main component programs. So ito yung civic welfare ser service, yung CWS, uh, and then yung law enforcement service, or yung LES, and the military service. Okay? So college students were given an option to choose one among these components to comply as requirements of the tertiary education. So after Ferdinand Marcos uh, or President Marcos, implementation of the national service law except the provisions of military service was suspended uh, by Presidential Memorandum Order Number One by President Corazon Aquino, and then <clears throat> it became a basic reserve officer training corp. So, dito nagsimula yung ROTC, no? So, uh, nung dumating si President Cory Aquino, so yung ating dating uh, National Service Law, uh, nung na na suspend pumasok yung ating ROTC. So it was effective uh, on school year 1986 to 1987. <clears throat> and in 1991, the implementing ru rules and regulations of Republic Act 7077 modified the basic ROTC course to expanded ROTC program as mandated. Okay, so naging expanded ROTC program na siya. So the modification is composed of military subject in the first year and any of the following components, yung MTS, yung CWS, at yung uh, LES. So yung MTS, yung military training service, at yung, um, iba, yung dalawa, yung ating uh, law in, uh, enforcement service. No? So, sa pangalawang curriculum na binigay. <clears throat> so, on March 18, 2001, so, may nangyaring incident. So, uh, may, may, may estudyante nakita doon sa 
Pasig River, no? may katawan na nakita, nakabalot yung kanyang uh, mukha no, ng mga packaging tape. Pero nung ma-identify nila yung, yung tao, yung katawan, it was a, an engineering student from UST. Na ito ay biktima ng illegal ROTC. So dito nagsimula na nagkaroon ng mga protesta. No? Yung mga estudyante at saka yung mga parents uh, doon sa ROTC kasi nagiging, nagiging parang may halong hazing na. So nagiging illegal yung ano so nagkaroon ng biktima na matay yung estudyante. So <clears throat> since then expanded ROTC program gradually changed or be became the national uh, training service program dito na nagiging NSTP yung uh, dating ROTC program. So napalitan siya nagiging NSTP na siya. Now <clears throat> A new and latest amendment was brought for creating the Republic Act 9163 or ito yung tinatawag na National Service Training Program. So signed into law on January 2002. So it was implement, implemented in the school year 2002 to 2003. So, <clears throat> this NSTP comprises of uh, three uh, components. No? Three program components. So, meron tayong CWTS. Yung dating CWS, ngayon tinatawag siyang CWTS, yung ating Civic Will Welfare uh, Training Services or Service. And then we also have the LTS, yung ating Literacy Training Service. And ROTC, yung Reserve Officer Training Corps. So, tatlo bali yung component ng ating NSTP. Okay. <clears throat> now, ano ba yung Republic Act 9163 yung nabanggit natin? So, at least we, ma, para malaman natin yung background. No? So, itong itong uh, RA na 9163 or known as the National Service Training Program Act of 2001. So, an act establishing the NSTP for tertiary level students. Okay, so malinaw yun, tertiary level. Amending for the purpose of RA 77 and Presidential Decree 1706 and for other purposes. So yun yung mahabang title ng 9 or RA 9163. So NSTP is designed to develop and enhance consciousness and defense preparedness among Filipino youth by um, developing the ethics of service. So, ano pa? Nationalism and uh, patriotism. So, while undergoing training in any of these three, three program components, so habang tayo ay nag-aaral nitong mga components na ito, yun yung dapat ma-enhance sa atin. Yung service, yung nationalism, at yung ating patriotism na sinasabi. Okay. So, yung mga components, yung ating ROTC, yung ating LTS at yung CWTS, pwede tayong mamili doon, no? Kahit ano yung gusto natin. So, balit we have we have a different case in in uh, MC kasi unang-una konti lang yung ating population ng mga NSTP students. So, Kung gusto natin yung ROTC, kailangan umabot muna tayo ng 300 para ma-open natin yung ROTC. Pero lahat tayo, hindi tayo umaabot doon. Kaya hindi natin mabubuksan yung ROTC. And then, yung pinaka-practice pinaka natin, yung lagi natin uh, kinukuha is yung ating CWTS, no? yung Civic Welfare Training Service. So, bigyan natin ng din na yung yung bawat isa kung anong functions ng mga components na ito so yung ating ROTC so it is def, uh, designed to give a military training to a tertiary uh, level students aims to motivate train organize and mobilize uh, for national uh, preparedness and then yung ating mga yung ating LTS naman 
So it is designed to train the students to become teachers of literacy and uh, numeracy skills. Okay, and then it focuses on school children, out of school youth, and other segments of society. Then, yung last na component, yung ating civic welfare training services, so it contributory to the general welfare and betterment of life for the members of the community and um, enhancement of its facilities, especially those devoted to improving health, education, environment, entrepreneurship, society, recreation, and morals of the citizenry. Kaya mas madami yung saklaw nito, kaya ito yung uh, pinapractice natin. No? Uh, sa MC, yung CWTS. Okay? So, ano yung basis ng NSTP natin, constitutional basis? So, it is based on uh, Article Article 2 of 1987 Constitution. So, yung revised uh, Constitution natin. So, Article 2, Section 4, Babasahin ko para mas uh, maintindihan natin. So, the prime duty of the government is to serve and protect the people. The government may call upon the people to defend the state and in the fulfillment thereof. All citizens may be required under conditions provided by the law to <clears throat> render personal, military, or civil service. So dito sa batas na to, isa to yung isa sa mga uh, pinanggalingan o kung saan nakabase yung ating NSTP. No? And then section 5 of the same article, so the maintenance of peace and order, the pro protection of life, liberty and property, and promotion of general welfare are essential for the enjoyment by all the people of the blessings of democracy. So, kasama dito sa section na to yung base natin sa NSTP. And then, section 13, the state recognizes the vital role of the youth in nation building and shall promote and protect their physical, moral, spiritual, intellectual, and social well-being. So, it shall include in the youth patriotism, and nationalism and courage their involvement in public and civic affairs. So, yung mga mga basihan na to, ito yung nagpapatibay uh, doon sa ating NSTP. Uh, so, basihan dito sa uh, bag, uh, 1987 constitution natin. So, doon nakabase yung ating uh, NSTP. So, <clears throat> Uh, Ma'am Karen, siguro uh, yun yung mixing background na pwede kong ma-share or in short introduction to our NSTP law. And I think uh, babasahin din naman nila yung batas na yun para siguro mas, ma, mas lumawak pa yung kanilang uh, pangunawa doon sa batas na, na ng NSTP. Okay, so hindi ko na masyadong ahabaan para meron pa silang mababasa doon. Okay. Tama, sir. Opo. Okay. Bali, ilalagay naman natin doon sa Google Classroom yung readings na gagawin nyo para ngayong araw hanggang bukas at para may activity kayong gagawin at submit on Wednesday. Tama, sir, dong? Wednesday nila submit yes, yung activity nila from the readings and from the introduction today. Sir, uh, ano nga yung saklaw yes. ng ating activity o yung kailangan nilang submit para sa Wednesday? Next, para sa Wednesday, siguro ilalagay natin, ipopost na lang natin yung, yung mga assignment doon sa classroom um, para once and for all. Uh, kasi meron pa din mga, kahit nag, may sinasabi tayo dito, uh, nag-comment pa din doon sa GC or sa ano. So, para isahan na lang yung isasubmit ko, ano yung isasubmit, punta na lang sila doon sa classroom para makita nila ko ano yung mga assignment na ibibigay natin. Okay. Thank you, Sir Dong. So, ang second agenda natin is about uh, different reminders 
with regards to the use of Google Classroom, your Facebook account, and Gmail account. No? Uh, nung na-observe namin ng mga previous day, una yung inyong mga usernames. So, make sure na ginagamit nyo yung totoo nyong pangalan sa FB accounts nyo and then sa Google Classroom accounts or yung Gmail accounts nyo para mas madali namin kayong matrace at makonfirm. And then, uh, second point ay yung inyong pananamit. So, na, nakapag, nagkaroon na tayo ng unang activity, yun ang ating greening program. So, may kita point na pag nagdo-document tayo ay nasa maayos tayong damit. Kaya, dahil kahit kalahati lang naman ang kita, ano sir, no? So, may kita point medyo maayos yung ating top tuwing magkakaroon tayo ng mga ganong documentation. And, syempre, yun ding mga uh, display pictures nyo kailangan naka uh, maayos din kayong damit. Di naman kailangan na sobrang formal. At least wag naman naka topless o kaya yung iba naka sando or backless. Tama, Sir Dong? So, yung, just right. recently yun ang pinag-uusapan namin ni Sir Dong. Na dapat uh, maayos din ang kanilang pananamit dahil nasa uh, formal classroom tayo ngayon. Pero online lang tayo ngayon. Anyway, um, pinapasabi din ng ating student services office na kailangan nating mag-provide ng picture. So, ano ba yung picture na yan? Saan gagamitin? Magkakaroon tayo ng official ID. So, padadalhan talaga kayo ng printed ID dyan sa inyong mga bahay. Pero kailangan namin ng pictures nyo. So, kailangan nyo ng white background tulad nito. Mas maganda ako mas maliwanag tulad nung kay Sir Dong. So, kailangan nyo ng white background and then uh, may kita point na at least naka-color, colored yung inyong shirt pag nag-picture kayo. So, yun yung ilalagay naming picture sa ID. And then, saan naman siya isasubmit? So, ilalagay ko na lang doon sa Google Classroom yung official uh, email account ng SSO or pwede naman yung email account ko. Doon na lang kayo mag-submit ng photos. And then, isasama nyo yung inyong registration form. After nun, uh, antay na lang yung confirmation at kung kailan nyo marireceive yung inyong mga ID. Yan lang. And third agenda natin ay yung paglalagay ng sagot, no, Sir Dong? So, nung previous video namin ni Sir Dong, nung during the MCNSTP introduction, na-discuss namin, kaso very short lang, kung papaano na hindi kayo dun sa comment section magsasubmit ng uh, activities nyo tulad ng documentation. At hindi rin doon sa ating uh, Facebook group chat isasubmit yung inyong activities. Naka-assign yun doon sa classwork ninyo. So you, you try to browse your classwork at nandoon makikita nyo how you can turn in your answers. Again, doon ilalagay yung sagot, doon din maglalagay ng documentation, doon kayo mag attach Hindi sa Facebook, hindi rin through PM. Baka kasi sasend nyo kay Sir Dong. Sir, ito na po yung nagawa ko. Nakapagpunlaan na po ako. Okay, mong Karen, ito na po yung aking documentation. Hindi po. Hindi namin siya maka-count. Hindi rin namin siya ma-record kung hindi nyo siya sa official Google Classroom isasubmit. Correct. Uh, yes. Another last thing na lang siguro. Yung video natin, short lang naman siya. So, may kita point na matapos nyo. Kasi yung ibang mga questions, nasagot na namin dito. And then eventually, uh, matatanong. Or, you can actually comment your questions doon sa ating YouTube account. Yes. Sir, nagkaroon yung, tayo yung, ng... Ma'am Karen, yes, Ma Karen, yung, yung pagkahalimbawa dito sa video natin, um, instructional video, kung may mga comments sila or may mga tanong, sa baba na lang. Kasi yung iba, yung video, doon nagtatanong sa GC. Kaya minsan, hindi mo ma saan ba yan? Para, diba? so, kung halimbawa, meron silang comments or mga tanong dito sa, sa pinag-uusapan natin. So, dito sa, sa YouTube na lang sila mag-comment or mag-tanong. Tama. So, recap yes. na lang tayo, sir, and then we can uh, yes. Sige. Uh, close the video, no? So, recap one is about NSTP introduction. So, na-discuss ni Sir Dong yung mahalagang batas uh, na naka-align sa NSTP. And then, magkakaroon kayo ng activity related dito and you will be assigned uh, a particular reading na i-attach namin sa Google Classroom at isasubmit on Wednesday. Second thing, yung mga SSO requirement natin like yung 
uh, sa ID picture, ilalagay ko doon sa ating uh, Google Classroom yung uh, email account kung saan nyo isa-send, attached by your registration form. And then third, yung pagta-turn in ng answer or pagsa-submit nyo ng requirements, uh, activities, hindi sa GC, hindi through PM, but sa classwork, doon sa pagta-turn in sa Google Classroom. Yun lang. Sir Dong, uh, meron ka yeah. Meron tayong gustong pasalamatan ngayong araw na to. <laughs> Dahil mag-GCQ na sa June 1. Yes. Malapit na. So, konting kembot na lang. So, stay safe. Huwag kayong munang lumabas ng bahay kung hindi naman talaga kinakailangan. Kasi malapit na naman eh mag-GCQ uh, na tayo. Pag hindi naman kailangan, wag na kayong lumabas. Mga importante na. Huwag na lumabas. Lang. Tsaka bawal pa kayo lumabas kasi hanggang 21. Tama, Sir Dong? Ang 20 years <laughs> old below, bawal lumabas. Bawal lumabas. <laughs> Tama ang mga senior citizens. Tama. So, Hindi dyan lang kayo. At mag-ingat kayo lagi. Thank you. At welcome ulit sa NSTP. Part 2 na to, sir. <laughs> okay. So, pakilike ng page natin. Yung MC NSTP 2020. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.